morning. It's Savannah J, and welcome to Around the Way. And I'm so happy today. Well, I'm happy every day, but today, honey. I'm, can I call you the king of real estate? You sure would, can. Would you like that name? That's me. Stephen M. Kahn the second. The second. I got that right? Yes, Make your daddy proud. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> how are you doing this morning? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. One question. Do you need a real estate agent? Absolutely. What? Absolutely. Yes. Tell me why. You know, people don't realize that it's one of the major investments, the major transactions of their lives. Mm -hmm. And when you have something that's significant, you want to make sure you have some help, right. a trusted advisor. Okay. You wouldn't walk into a courtroom without an attorney on the, one of your biggest cases. That's true. So it's the same thing in real estate. I like people to understand that we have the education, the resources, the knowledge mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. and we do this every day. Yes. So it's not an extra cost to, to use us, it's a valid cost okay. to use us. And I, and I want people to make sure that they realize that we are here to help them, help them get to the next level, help them to reach their goals. Tell me your goals of becoming a real estate agent. You have so many umbrellas that you have over your head that you wear. I, I titles. do. Titles. Tell me a couple of your titles that you wear. I do. Uh, first of all, I'm a servant of God. Oh. That's the main one. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, husband, wife, uh, well, husband to my wife, That's sorry. Okay. That's okay. Uh, husband, father, mm -hmm. uh, son, I am uh, the incoming first vice president for the Charleston Trident Association of Realtors. Mm -hmm. So our local realtor association here of over 6,500 members, mm -hmm. uh, which means that I will be president elect 2025 and then president 2026. Mm -hmm. So uh, super excited about that. I am also the incoming president for our Charleston Area Realtist Association. That okay. is our National Association of Real Estate Brokers chapter. It's a national chapter, mm -hmm. but really it's an association that's focused on black home ownership specifically okay. and black real estate practitioner education. Okay. Outside of that, I'm the CEO of our uh, empowerment development group. So a company that my wife and I, we do redevelopment. Okay. So we redevelop properties uh, and help increase the, the community and increase the values that are out there in some of these gentrified areas. What does lead development mean? So development, uh, redevelopment is... Redevelopment. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Redevelopment is taking a property mm -hmm. and repurposing it, okay. upgrading it, taking distressed properties, mm -hmm. and we go in, we gut them, we make sure that we instill quality back into that property. And we get, get that property to a point where it's beautiful. Yeah. It looks great. It's amazing. And we sell it for, for a top dollar because we put the work and we put the quality and we had the right people involved. How do you find the people to elect to do that with? So we have, uh, I'm all about collaboration over competition. Mm -hmm. So I love to collaborate with all of our industry partners, but we have several contractors mm -hmm. that we use. Uh, one main contractor that we use as a general contractor. Okay. And then we subcontract out for certain tasks. So okay. uh, whether it's plumbing, electrical, mm -hmm. we like to kind of enter uh, change some of our subcontractors, okay. but we're all a team, okay. and so we all get there together, and we celebrate together, and that's the beauty that I love about it. If someone's trying to purchase a home within the next year or so, what do they have to do to prepare for that? Oh, that's a loaded question. I think the first part is to really understand why. Mm -hmm. Why do they want to purchase? Okay. Because they're going to need to rely on that why mm -hmm. when it gets difficult, okay. when it gets hard in that transaction mm -hmm. where we have to have difficult conversations. Mm -hmm. Their why is what's going to keep them going. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the biggest things I would say is to prepare uh, by credit. Okay. Income, re remembering what their income is, understanding what that is, mm -hmm. um, and how maybe they may need more of it because of the climate that we're in in our housing market. And then assets, really saving their money, figuring mm -hmm. out you know what their budget is, uh, how can they save more right. just for this transaction alone, um, but then also it's mindset. So understanding, you know, why they want to purchase, yes. but then understanding that, you know, this is a generational thing that they will be able to pass down. Right. And that's the type of mindsets that we need to start passing down is wealth mindsets versus poverty mindsets. Bring it here, my brother. Bring it here. Well, I'm going to call you my son. Yeah. <laughs> well, my question also, if do you think the market is cool right now to purchase a home? How, how do you feel about purchasing a home now in the market? I feel like uh, the market is normalizing okay. and rates are higher, yes, than what they used to be. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would say that the market is not going to crash because it's just an inventory supply and demand issue. Okay. We have 
low inventory here in the low country. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough units. Okay. And that's why housing prices have increased. So interest rates have a part, they play a part, but it's not the, the only thing that makes the difference. Definitely, okay. So I would definitely say, you know, everybody that has the opportunity, purchase now because renting is 100% interest rate. Wow. Homeowner purchase, home ownership purchases are only seven, eight at this moment, and they could be lower in the future. I think you should say that again. Say that again. Yes, ma'am. So home ownership, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll say it this way. Mm -hmm. Renting is 100% interest rate. Yes. Home ownership is seven, eight, and negotiable at okay. this point. Okay, then. And it can always go, go down or it can go up. It's variable. So when you leave a, a tenant, a tenant leaves at the end of their lease, yes. they don't leave with equity. Nothing, nothing at all. But with the home ownership, they leave with more than they, than they put in. How do they get in touch with you? I'm available, uh, excelrealestatecharleston.com, okay. um, social media, at Stephen Kahn, um, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, last name is K-O-H-N. Uh, Instagram as well, uh, last name Kahn, K-O-H-N, and Stephen. Uh, I'm just excited to, to just be a part and be a part of this community to help collaborate, to help bring the education mm -hmm. that's needed so much here in the Low Country. So please connect with me. There are a lot of home buyer programs that are available, mm -hmm. and I want to be that trusted advisor to them to help make sure that we increase and increase their home ownership but right. decrease the wealth gap. Say that again, I like that part. I love, I, I, I want to make sure that we are here to, uh, I want to make sure they understand that I am here mm -hmm. to decrease the wealth gap and increase the home ownership rate in, in America. Stephen, you're a blessed young man. I thank you for being here. I'm Savannah J, and thank you for being around the way with me.